Hello everybody, welcome back to day 21 of my 100 day project swatching and today I am swatching Schmink Horridum Volcano Red which is PR 108 so Cadmium Red and Schmink Academy Phthalo Green I can't quite rem I can't remember what what they calling this but this is it is Phthalo Green it's PG7. Oh, no. I'm already making mistakes. I forgot that I need to switch this out faintly as well. And I've already added more green, so let's add some more red in there. I have to say, the volcano red does need quite a bit of. Reactivation. I shush. I have to. I have I have this in a tube, and I squeezed a little bit out into a half pan, and yeah. It does need to be pre-activated quite a bit, which is unusual for, for Schmincke in my experience. Anyway, it would be it would be quite interesting to see if that is the same for for the pan version, because they have their super granulating colors in pans as well. But all the super granulating ones that I have, they have all but and they're all in tubes. And I mean, I'm mixing this with the, the Academy Phalo Green, but I don't think Phalo Green is probably one of those colors where you can get away with using student grade anyway, or like a cheaper brand, and you're not gonna see much of a difference. I mean, you get lots of granulation out of that. Um, volcano red though which is quite nice so I, I don't know if that's if I'm finding that the phalo green is quite seems to be quite dominant here and I don't know if that's because this particular cadmium red is fairly it's uh, comparatively weak if it's maybe not as pigmented as other but I don't think that would be the case. So, but I do find the phalo green is quite easily overpowering everything. Still, I do like the mixes this makes. I would necessarily know what to what to do with these mixes. I think I added too much water in this already. I'm a bit all over the place today. I'm sorry. So yes, it took me quite a while to figure out what I wanted to do for my next batch, but I finally decided I'm going to go with the Volcano Red. Just because I've had it for a bit now like certainly five or six months and I haven't really used it all that much and quite frankly spent too much money on it for it to just be sitting there and not doing anything so I need to figure out what I want to do with it and I need to wash my brush out really properly before I do this there it's a bit better all right then let's see how much of the Volcano Red I can get out of there. Oh, that wasn't too bad now though, was it? I do like the granulation this gives. So, that is of course one of the big reasons why I bought it, because it is a super granulating color and it deserves that 
description. It's certainly super granulating. I think the only the only two paints I can remember off the top of my head, like single pigment paints that I have that granulate more than this, might be the Rembrandt Oxide Black and quite possibly the Schmincke French Ultramarine. Because that granulates like mad. some more of the red in there. Come on, Max. There. I will take a picture and put it at the end of the video. We'll also upload the picture to my Instagram. Where you can look at it at your leisure if you want to. Don't forget to Give me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching other people swatch. And come back for tomorrow, day 22, when I will swatch another color with... What's it called? Schminke Volcano Red. Thank you for watching. See you now. Bye. Bye now.